What's up, man? Welcome back to another episode of the Bowling Green Dynasty Rebuild. Hey, yeah. And in today's episode, we got Wake Forest on the schedule. If you haven't watched the previous episode, we did go up against Western Michigan, and we beat them down 55-20. to 20. Yeah! But the game before that, we had our first L going up against the Akron Zips. Oh, shit! Yeah, yeah I know. But we are 7-1. We are still in the top 25. We're going to let it ride. No need to hold y'all up anymore. Let's hop into the game. All right, we got a breakdown of the team stats. We got Wake Forest on the offensive side. They're averaging 33 points per game, 447 yards total, 297 yards passing, 149 rushing. On the defensive side, they're giving up 26 points per game, 396 yards total, 218 passing, 178 rushing. On the Bowling Green side, our side, we are scoring 40 points per game, 454, 456 yards total, 227 yards passing, 229 rushing. On the defensive side, we're giving up 29 points per game, 385 total yards, 193 passing, and 192 rushing. And we do have D Hill coming in for a visit. We got Carl Brooks on a hot streak. We got T. Stu on a hot streak, and we got Bernard Cruz coming back. His second game back after the injury. Those are our top players. Top players for the Wake Forest. We got a 94 overall quarterback, a 94 overall free safety, and a 91 overall wide receiver. So we better be on the lookout for this passing game. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 yeah. pregame show presented yeah. by Nissan. Innovation yeah. that excites. Sometimes one of the it's hardest things to do in to college football go. is to get around by keeping the ball on the ground. We have the, the number nine decade, ranked so rush offense. Explosion. Much of it and we are ranked number one in rushing TDs. Passing game is kind of in the middle of the pack. But they rank number nine in pass offense. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. They rank number nine with the pass. Yeah. I'm going to try to hit the boy so hard. I'ma knock off his pads. Spin move coming up the middle. Yeah. Don't try to get us in a pickle. Oh, <laughs> uh, Bart Horn. I'm sorry, y'all, but the freestyle was terrible that game. Or this game. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I hope that's not an indication of how the game is going to go. Because if it is gonna be really bad. Wake Forest selects heads. I guess we win the toss and we'll kick. They just get so focused and they feel so challenged because they're on the road and people are doubting them and sometimes they play better. And he's done that we'll see if he can do it again today. Uh, okay. So bring him down at the 45. And there it is. Let's man up this time and they run it this time. And he's tackled around the 35 yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10 yard game. Took out the wrong person. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a six-yard gain on the run. For I the took out the quarterback. The only thing is, he didn't have the ball. Bring him down. Got tripped up by his own lineman, but we'll take it. See, so we can keep four down lineman on the field. Yes, quickly. This guy has that innate and they still get the get first. So it's pretty much been a, a even offense. They running it and passing it. Oh boy. Got beat off the line. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Got him. Deshaun Jones Jr. With the sack. And he gets blocked. And nobody will catch that. All we got to do is keep them out of the end zone. Sounds simple. 
But a lot of times it ain't. And he will be open. <laughs> Wide open. Passing the fence on the offense. We will take that. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're okay. Get him down. Blake Whiteheart. We're going to force a team to a field goal on the first possession again. The kick is up, and it is good. Time for an update. I'll consider it a win. And number three, Oregon, loses to an unranked California. Oh, my God. In other games. The Bulldogs number seven Clemson goes down after that performance how to Georgia Tech number two Georgia goes down to Auburn the Tigers just upsets all around the country right now <laughs> thought I would start the game off a little different but you see what that got me now it's second down and long And nobody is. Never mind. Never mind. Tackle at the 22. He's scrambling. Here they come. Denied. And it's a fourth and three. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's the point. <laughs> gonna get him good field position anyway. <laughs> they gonna score a touchdown. <laughs> oh my God! Just forget the field position. We gonna score a touchdown. Oh brother, this guy stinks! And I got several bad attempts at a tackle. This is the story of the season. Being down by double digits in the first quarter. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass. In the Can we get anything going in our favor? And we got a nice accurate pass from BC to TG. The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room. Why don't we try just handing off the T Stu? I don't know why. Stewart gets the ball. He tackles well, never mind. We get zero yards. That's why. Despite their record, this Wake Forest team is very good. Quick throw. Daddy, no! And he throws it to the other team. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! <laughs> exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big. They got to be the most right inaccurate pass like I didn't seen this season. My my guy can't even throw a straight pass, man. Ellison, heading for the corner. Can't wrap him up. He's at midfield. He's oh my! He's tackled at the 32 yard line. This is not good. This is not good. He's taken down around the 14 yard line. Best thing we can do right now is hold him to a field goal. Hopefully. There we go, Darren Anders. Ouch, Daddy bit me. And that really hurt your little still. A field goal is a win right now. Come here! Let's go! Call with the K, you can get sacked on any play on any day or night. Get it right. Up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Just when we needed a big stop on defense, 
Carl Brooks shows up. Sidelined earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's yeah. moving up, trying to get back in the ball game. He gets it up. And the I'm living life on the edge, bitch. I'm all about a chick. Is lining up to kick this one off. Yeah. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. We can't afford to go down by three scores. With the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. And here's a Look at that. That was so underthrown that it actually threw the man open. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> And he overthrows him. <laughs> so at the end of one quarter, Wake Forest leads. When I need him to throw it long, he throws it short. When I need him to throw it short, he throws it long. <laughs> Big opening. Makes it out to about the 49. But Bernard Cruz can do that. There it is. Open field. Ah. We'll take it, though. We down. will take it. They playing AO one on one. I love that matchup all day. Going to the end zone. Oh, shit. And it's intercepted it again. Put that one on the quarterback. <laughs> Just stop. Just stop it, bro. Stop. Okay? Just stop. It is not working. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. Let's go defense. I know one thing. We can't keep giving them opportunities. Begin with the run. Because <laughs> stuff like this going to happen. And he's tackled at the 41. Coming into the game, I thought it was going to be the pass that killed us. But right now, it's the run. It's been the complete opposite of what I thought it was going to be. Oh, my God. Inside and he's gone again. The 10. Oh, my God, man. We are down by three scores. And we have zero points. The halfback got the carry and weaved through that defense for a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. For the kickoff. Yeah. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tries to get around the corner. Brought down at the 24. Well, this defense has got to be proud of what they've been able to do in this football game so far. Or halftime. Hello, motherfucker. Stop. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. The option is not working right now. Ain't no way we're gonna get here scoreless in the first half. It just ain't no way, bro. He throws right. There it is. Hey! Oh! Let's go! He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. No, Brad, this guy continues. Hey, he only has 100 yards already. A coordinator, I would put a corner on him down low underneath, and I'd put a safety over top of him. Put two defenders on him to try to slow him down because let's right go. Now, hey, one on one coverage. Oh, and he drops it in and out of his hands. Come on, Ben. I don't like how they're lining up on this side. He goes out of bounds at the 16 yard line. Pick up the two yards. We got to at least get a field goal out of this. That'll cut it down to a two possession game. Maybe. No, no, it won't. What am I talking about? 
to buy some time. And he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Ben going to get us a first down. That cut it down to a 17-point game. That's still three possessions. It's a HB stretch on the play. And we are about to score today. Let's go, T. Stu. We get on the board. Now if we can get a stop and somehow score again, if we can score again before the half, if we get a stop, we'll be in a good position. But we can't tackle. All right, and nobody's blocking. Got him. Deshaun Jones Jr. It's a bit of a risk here with the sack of the tackle for loss. All the way in and got to the quarterback. A lot of times the deep. No. Slow him down. And nobody's going to tackle him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Bruh. Three defenders had a shot at bringing him down. Fires it out. And down he goes at the 20. Uh, loaded the box for the run, then they pass. Defense looking real lost out there right now. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. The man defense. We ain't never going for no screen pass. Screen. If it's one play we can stop, it is a screen pass. More missed tackles. I thought we had got over this missed tackle bug, but apparently not. Can't tackle nobody. I don't think we could tackle a baby with a full diaper. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. The nightmare continues. A bowling green store. He's scrambling. There it is. Let's go, Tommy G. And he's throwing long and he's got it up there. Golly, man. Oh, fucking do it again. Okay, One minute he has no arm, and the next minute, that boy got a rocket. Makes a grab and steps Look at that. That was a nice, accurate pass with some zip on it. And they playing one-on-one -on -one over here. And another pass. Thrown short. I'd do it again, and none of you could stop me. At this point, why do I even keep trying? Honestly. Tackle at the 21. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Goes out to the back, and it's two. And T Stu decides he wanna drop the ball. Inside the ten. He gets hit out of bounds. Let us get real. Let it, <laughs> get it out, man. Let it get us real close. Touchdown. If it works, it works. And that's his second touchdown of the day. The defense has to come out and make a stop. And if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defense line. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. I mean, it's only 18 seconds. Should we really try to get the ball back? He's taken nope. down at the 36. We'll just let him run it out. Before they mess around and score. Oh, now they're going to hurry up. That's not good. Oh, my. And he shoved out of bounds around the Boy, if that was not the perfect position for an interception a pick six right through his hands what? Damn it. now it looks like calling the timeout was a terrible idea should be the last play before the half well that didn't even get to the end zone 
incomplete pass. That was batted so many times. Like, it was batting practice out there. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. So the best possible thing for us, we <laughs> go into the halftime on the down 13. This is absolute bullshit! Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football Can't Sports believe I said that. Halftime show presented by Nissan. We will get the ball in the second half. Size. Davis, David Pollock, and we can cut it down to a one possession so game. A perspective to what just went down and all we have to do is get a stop. You know who I feel sorry but that sounds like a lot the poor for my defense. Center, who's going to try to sift through all of those highlights and come out with the ones he's going to choose to try to make the Sports Center top 10. Da -da -da, da -da -da. No, there's definitely a, a lot. Look at that defense. From, that's what you like as a fan. I think the fan, they like that and enjoy that more than they like seeing great defense. They like seeing guys go up and make huge one-handed stabs and guys make big long diving touchdown runs and they like all that so they're watching two turnovers turn killed us you see it all the time so i think the kids know that too and they're trying to do their best to always, they really did you know, make a huge play make a big explosive play and put a little cherry on top of that place so we actually got 176 yards really passing David and I despite bernard cruz being everything else going primarily a runner they want to get back in the game they not playing any safeties deep Pretty much daring us to throw the ball. And he's tackled at the 22. And the run is not going anywhere. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They don't have any time to throw the ball when there are wide open receivers. But we're going to hit Tommy G there. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Look at that. Look how he's playing AO. He ain't gonna beat him. So we're gonna take our running. We're gonna take our running. Let's go, BC. You can't do it with your arm, do it with your feet. He's gonna try and scramble. Oh, good pass. And, first down and, he's out of bounds. and we got Levi in the game. And he makes a nice catch on the sideline. Brought down at the 10. Maybe a yard on the My O line is not getting any push. I mean, I want to run the ball with T Stu, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. He's tackled at the one yard line. So we run it with Bernard Cruz. Griffin Little running big through that little hole. Let's go. Hit him with a hard nine. Give me one stop defense. I just want one. Look at that car with a K. He ain't going to miss too many tackles. I'm surprised Brock Horn missed a tackle. Stop Couldn't cover long enough. Could not cover long enough for me to get back there. Probably gonna be a run this time. Yep. And he juked me out of the place. Oh! Brett Austin with the interception. Let's go! Exactly what we needed. I bet he knew as soon from as my superstar freshman shouldn't have made the throw and that's the thing when you're under that kind of pressure it takes away let's go now he tries to buy some time he sails it long uh, let yeah, go Tommy G with the 33 big target with good speed and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense Bernard Cruz looking real good right now throwing on the run I might just need to run and throw it out of time. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Okay. Let's see if we can get three yards with the option. 
I hope we can. Gonna force it back to the middle. T Stu gonna get 12. Oh, yeah. Uh, I believe somebody's gonna be wide open. And there he is. Tommy G in the back of the end zone for a TD. And Bernard Cruz has thrown for 257, I believe. He does have two interceptions, but we back. I think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. I believe they're gonna run it. And they don't. Slings it. And down he goes. The 33 yard line. Bring him down. And he's taken down. The Was that a broken play? That play didn't look right for some reason, but they got a first down off of it. Oh, he spins out of the tackle. Bring him down. Yardage. Thank you. Come on, bro. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. That'll be clipping on the offense. We will take it. This is absolute bullshit. Shit. Shit. He's on the run. He takes out running. Deshaun Jones Jr. Falcon, Because I would have stopped. Let's go. Big foe. Bring him down right there. Have they even scored in the third quarter? That's why I want to know. Heading for the corner. He's out to the 30. And Bo Diggs. Across midfield. He's coming up big. Wake Forest is a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to Only 42 be. yards in the second half for Wake Forest. Having two after 292 in the first half. I'm excited. Excuse my English. <laughs> what do we have here? What do we have here? All I need to do is see him. All I need to do is see him. Let's go. Boy, did he fire that baby down the field. There aren't too many quarterbacks in the country who can make I figure he won off the line. I just need to see him down there. Tom Hayford. Bernard Cruz looking like Chuck and Melton passing the ball right now. Get over here. Die. He looked like him running it too. <laughs> I think calling the place. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The halfback just couldn't get back. They are not going for the run. Can we hit Tommy G on this corner route? That's what I'm looking for. Or maybe Ben Harrington underneath. Tom Hayford if I have to. Daddy, no. And it's an interception. The quarterback has got to know at this time in the game, unless his man is. Shit! Shit! Oh, my. Ah, missed him. Damn. Down at the 22 yard line. Bruh. Bro, can we stay on the receiver at least one second? I got four DBs on the field for a reason. The four cornerbacks. How y'all getting beat so damn fast? He makes it to the 35-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. I believe I can play. Let's go! Couldn't even get the pass off on the screen. This will be a crucial stop here if we can get it. A very crucial stop. A 
Allison takes the delay handle. Runs right for a nice ball. Good stop. That was a big stop in the fourth quarter. Yeah. I still don't think away. they've scored this in this half. Really nice punt. Turn the Jets on, Bo Diggs. Turn the, the Jets on, Bo Diggs. And he's tackled the 39 yard line. We got a blitz on the right side, but I'm not worried about that because we run into the left. And he comes straight through. Man was untouched. And he read the screen pad. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And I throw another interception. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. And it's going to be returned for a touchdown. Oh, my God. He on X Games. <laughs> That's interference. Defense. Dude, what the fuck? Pass interference. Really? How? Hold on, bro. How? Bernard Cruz has thrown four interceptions. Four. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score just like that, that man got open. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to yeah. this one off. He just drills this one. And where is Ben Harrington? Got the corner. He's to the twenty. Across the third. And I don't care because T. Stu's out there. Steps out of bounds. Let's go. Bowling Green's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, we're so used to on the last possession. It's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. Oh, right my here. God, man. Brought down around the 33-yard line. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. Come on, lineman, get over there. You ain't blocking nobody. 71. Look at well, yes, he was. But still, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 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 Stuck on my first play. I wanted to change it because I seen the blitz. But I'm glad I stuck with it. Bro, what are y'all? And he's hit immediately. What are y'all doing? So nobody can get their hand up and buck and <laughs> bet the ball down. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. And they gonna walk the ball down the field. He unloads it. Makes Wide it open. Out of bounds. Big play right there. Oh, well, never mind. They're going to make it for us. <laughs> I'm starting to think, do we need to let them score? Or should we try to get a stop? They're going to take the score. And they're actually going to let us return this one. He's scrambling. He's under pressure. Room around the corner. And they make the stop at about the 31. Forget it. I'll just take out running. Now he's scrambling. Tries to get around the corner. He goes out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That's doubly bad for this defense. Gets out to around the 45. We will take that. Runs it right. Nice pickup. The foul we will call a timeout there. Time out of the half. Bernard point. Cruz, and he's let's go. The nine yard line. The read option is deadly, but Bernard Cruz is running it. Nice gain as he works to the right side. Stewart again. Touchdown, Falcons. Oh boy. 
That's his third trip to the end zone. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball. In They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. Are they try trying to ice, ice the kicker? Time out here. Be tied with the extra Come on, point. bro. You can't ice me on no extra point. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that, they tried to ice me on the extra point. They'll bring him down at the 45 yard line. We got one play. I don't like running prevent, I like running three man deep. Barring another score, we might be headed over with the man underneath. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. He sails it long. Let it down. Oh, no. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. They go tails, and we're going to go defense. I want to hold them to a field goal. They keep it on the ground. Oh, it's a fumble. Now the quarterback has the ball. And he's going to pick it up. And get a yard. Damn. Good play by Brock Horn to knock it loose anyway. Turner has a carry left side. Yep. Force him back to the middle. Good D, Brock Horn. Let's go. Yeah. He gets it up, and he got it. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. We'll take that. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything... Now, all we have to do is do what we do best. We already in field goal range. We just have to run the ball. And it's going to be a walk-off TD by Bernard Cruz. Let's go. How you like that? And this one comes to an end. Our final count is... It better be an ESPN Classic. Bernard Cruz. Putting up all type of stats. Too many interceptions. But he came up big when we needed him. While also trying to throw the game at the same time. <laughs> oh boy. I'm speechless right now. I can't believe we made this game so hard. But at the same time, made it look so beautiful. And we'll look here at the post game stats. Of course, you played in the ESPN Classic. 14 point coming from behind victory. I think we were down 20 to zip, if I ain't mistaken. That's 14. Yeah, 14 point. But I think we were down 20 to zip. 50 touchdowns on the season, 2,000 rushing yards on the season. And that game ranks number one. Let's look at Bernard Cruz and his up and down roller coaster performance. He went 15 to 29 for 291, a touchdown, and four interceptions. He didn't get sacked at all in this game, which is surprising, but it is what it is. We got the best of Bernard Cruz and the worst of Bernard Cruz. And this is the best right here. 16 attempts for 185 on the ground with two TDs, including a walk-off touchdown in overtime. We got T. Stewart with 14 attempts for 72 yards and three TDs. On the receiving side, we had Tommy G with six receptions for 115 in the TD. We had AO with five receptions for 113, and Tom Hayford had only one catch, but that was for 34 yards. On the defensive side, we got Terrence Walker, a name that we really don't call that much, but Terrence Walker had eight solo tackles and a tackle for a loss. We got Mr. Anderson with five solo tackles, Deshaun Jones Jr. with five solo tackles, three tackles for a loss and a sack, Brock Horn with five tackles and a tackle for a loss, Carl Brooks with four solo tackles, one tackle for a loss, and one sack. 
We got Brett Austin with the only interception on our side. And we got Darren Anders coming up with a sack. Okay, we got a breakdown of the stats here. We got Wake Forest with a 13 to zip win in the first quarter. They were not up 20 to zip in the first quarter, but they were up 20 to zip at some point. In the second quarter, it was 14 to 14, which ended the half with a 27 to 14 lead in Wake Forest's favor. And in the third quarter, we come out with a 14 to zip win and the fourth quarter wake forest wins that one 15 to 14 and we come out in ot with the walk off touchdown on the first play by bernard cruz which gives us a 48 to 45 victory on the first down battle it was tied 20 all rushing yards we won that 263 to 176 we also won the passing yard battle 291 to 264 but we lost the turnover battle very, very badly. But we won the time of possession battle, and we get the W. And, of course, Bernard Cruz is the offensive player of the game, and Brock Horn is the defensive player of the game. And me, the HC, I move up to level 15. And, boy, oh, boy, did we make that very interesting. That game probably shouldn't have been that close if we don't turn the ball over four times four turnovers to one so that's three possessions where we didn't have a chance to do anything a couple of those possessions we turn it over on our side of the field if not all of them <laughs> and one was a pick six ah not very good not very good but we get the dub uh it was a it was a last minute thriller bowling green prevails in the overtime against Wake Forest, 48 to 45, reading the middle ticks right here. But me, the HC, I have an upgrade, and we are going to decide where we want to put that. We got, maybe we should put that on visits, since we got visits coming up. I feel like that's where we should go. We should max that out. But we will advance to the next week and see what we got as far as recruiting. Okay, so after that overtime thriller, we got Mark Britt, the 78 overall left tackle coming to the team. We got D Hill, the 76 overall wide receiver coming to the team. We got a 75 overall cornerback, Jesse Williams. We are in a recruiting battle with three other schools. We got Mike Potts, the 74 overall wide receiver coming to the team. That's good. And we are in a recruiting battle with one other school for Avery Clark. And we are up to number 17 now in the college football playoff ranking. We got Ohio on the schedule now. They are a 500 team, but that doesn't mean anything if you watch any of the games this season. Records don't mean anything. We got beat by the Akron Zips, and that was probably one of the worst teams record-wise we didn't play so far this season. But let's hop into the recruiting board. We'll go down to the bottom and we'll look at the recruits we got in so far. We got another good tackle here with Mark Britt. And I'm rearranging these guys by their overall, if you're wondering. So from highest to lowest, let's bring D Hill down here under 77. And let's bring Mike Potts down here. Go down one more. So one of these guys is a big receiver. Mike Potts, that's the big possession receiver. 6'4", and he's a true freshman. He is not a Juco. D. Hill is not a Juco, he's also 6'4". He's the number eight, uh, number eight wide receiver. So, we got two six four guys coming in at receiver. Can't wait to see how that looks when they get to where we want them. And we got Mark Britt, the 78 overall tackle. Is he a he's a JUCO, but like I said, JUCOs ain't never hurt us. Now let's go back to the top of the recruiting board and we'll just work our way down. We got Steven Taylor, who's also a wide receiver. If we can get him, our wide receiver room will look very good. I don't see any competition with him right now, but just in case somebody like Alabama or Texas A&M decides they want to recruit him, I will bump him up to 400 points. 
We already got a visit on him. Avery Clark had his visit with North Carolina, but we are still in the hunt. We have a visit week 14, so we got that to look forward to. Uh, Charlie Jefferson, we're gaining on him, so let's put some points on him. See if we can get us another decent guard in. We'll bump him up to 400. We got David Booth. We are sitting in the lead right here. And we are in the lead for Kevin Lewis, a defensive tackle, 75 of all. He has a visit with uh, Missouri, but we got a visit after them. Maybe we can lock him up before he gets his visit to Missouri. We got Bo Harvey. I'm really not too concerned about Bo Harvey. We will bump him up to 400. We do have the points. We got Tim Brady. Doesn't look like anybody is trying to get him. We will also bump him up to 400. All right, put him at 400. We got Kevin Handy. Doesn't look like anybody's recruiting him. He's a 66 overall. We will put 200 points on him. Freddie Hill, a 76 overall cornerback. Oh boy, I like that. Let's bump him on up. I'm gonna put him at five. No, we're gonna put him at 600. Let's put him at 600 because I really want him. It's already 85% lock on him. And nobody's nowhere near him as far as recruiting points. We got Daryl Edmonds here. Let's put 200 points on him. Jesse Williams. There's still a chance we can get him, so we'll leave him on the board. Gregory Wilson. We are sitting in the lead with him. Let's bump him up to 200. Then we got the tight end, Eric Smith, the blocking tight end. Let's bump him up to 500. Um, we got Adam Alexander. What is he? He is also a wide receiver. I don't think we need another wide receiver. So we'll leave him at 100 and we'll spread these other 200 points out. What is Gregory Wilson? Oh yeah, he's a DB. Excuse my voice, but yeah, he's a DB. I think we want Gregory Wilson. Let's offer him a scholarship. And we'll put the rest of the points on him. He's a pretty decent cornerback, maybe. If we get him and pair him with Freddie Hill, I think we'd be looking pretty good as far as DBs. He is a Juco, but Juco's ain't never hurt us. And I think they'll do it for this week as far as recruiting. And we will take a look at the top 25. We got Oklahoma still at number one. We got Ohio State moving up to number two from four. We got Alabama moving up to number three from six. We got NC State moving up from five to four. Auburn moving up from nine to five. Georgia is going down after losing to Auburn. They come from number two and drop down to six. Iowa State moves up to seven from 12. Oregon State moves up from eight to 10. Moves up, they move up from 10 to eight. Excuse me, I did that last episode too. Reading it backwards. <laughs> Florida moves up from 13 to nine. Arizona moves up from 14 to 10. Arkansas moves up from 15 to 11. Clemson falls down after losing to Georgia Tech. Oregon falls down after losing to Cal. Texas falls after losing to Iowa State. And we will round out the top 25. Oh, uh, North Carolina moves down after losing to Pitt. They go from eight to 16. We move up two spots to 17. And we'll round out the rest. Of course, we got Pittsburgh in the top 25, even though they're five and four. And Utah is in the top 25, even though they're five and four. It's kind of wacky. But we got Boston College at seven and two. And then number 25. Yeah, that really doesn't make any sense down there. But it is what it is. And we'll take a look at the conference standings. We are sitting on top of the MAC East at 2-1. We are 4-1 in the conference. 
they still got us above, I guess because we are four and one in the conference. Ohio is four and two in the conference. Even though they don't have a loss in the division. But hopefully we can get them an L in the division. And on the Mac West side, Western Michigan is still on top of the Mac West. They are three and zero in the division and four and one in the conference. Even though Eastern Michigan is seven and three, they're only four and two in the conference and two and one in the division. So you gotta win your conference games. Even though they have a better record. And we do the rundown on the Heisman watch. We got Tank Bigsby sitting on top. We got Jace McClellan at number two. But he's on the move, trending upward. We got Kendall Milton from Georgia. He is trending downward at number three. We got Master Teague from Ohio State. Uh, he's sitting at four. And we got Kobe Pace sitting at five from Clemson. And we do have some award finalists here. Let's see if we got anybody. T. Stu is sitting at number five in the Walter Camp Award. We got Carl Brooks on top for the Bet Nerick. And we got Brett Austin at four. And Deshaun Jones Jr. at five. And we got Carl Brooks on top for the Nagurski. We have T. Stu sitting at number five for the Wonker. And we got Carl Brooks up for the Lombardi. We got Brett Austin up for the Thorpe. Okay, we got the freshman on top. 39 tackles, two tackles for a loss, an assisted tackle, a sack, two forced fumbles, and two interceptions. And Deshaun Jones Jr. coming in at number three. He has 45 tackles, 12 tackles for a loss, an assisted tackle, and seven sacks. If you're watching the previous episodes, you will know what time it is. As you may already know, we have Ohio on the schedule for next week. If we get us a good win against Ohio, maybe we can separate ourselves a little bit in the MAC East. I don't want to be in no race to win the MAC East just to get in the championship game. So we need to come out and beat Ohio. Well, really, we need to come out and win the next three games, and we won't have to worry about that. Got us a, a win against Wake Forest. Can't really call it a good win, because we made that really ugly, but a win is a win. Our defense, uh, I really don't, I really can't say that the defense was trash in that game, because we did have four turnovers, and you're really asking your defense to do a lot when you turn the ball over four times. One of those was a pick six, so if you take seven off the board from that 45, you're down to what, 38 and the other three turnovers. So I, I'm disappointed in a win. That's, that's a hard thing to do, ain't it? But anyway, I can't really say the defense was terrible. Now our ball control was terrible. Decision making was terrible, but all of those were user errors, AKA or also known as my errors. <laughs> But if you stuck around to this part of the episode, man, I really appreciate you for watching all the way through. If you made it to this part, make sure you comment down in the comment section and say, I made it to the end. If you make it to the end, I will shout you out in the next video. You know what I'm saying, man? Just to show you a little appreciation. But shout out to, uh, shout out to the rapper 10,000. Shout out to Warmaster777. Shout out to my brother from another mother, Product Visuals. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Product Visuals YouTube channel. He does a lot of good things for uh, youth basketball and football. If you want to see some workout videos or all, all that good stuff, man, go check out Product Visuals. Hey, bro, make sure you comment in the comment section, man, so everybody can see your name and whatnot. I know you commented in the last video or whatnot. But yeah, man, I'm pretty sure he gonna be in the comments of this episode. But yeah, uh, shout out Tony Hawkins as well. Another, another good subscriber that's been following us from pretty much the beginning. But yeah, man, my blood pressure is up right now. Might go do some uh, yoga or something. <laughs> I'm lying, I'm lying, I ain't gonna do no yoga. But I, I probably need to go meditate somewhere right now. I'm your AC, man. This is BG. We get another win. Let me fuck him up. Let me fuck him up. I'm out.